Welcome back. This is Pixel, and today I am playing a game called Timberborn. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this so I can explain what Timberborn is. But also, I need to preface this video a little bit because this one's going to be a little different than my other videos. Usually I would do a review or what I call a gameplay review. Gameplay reviews where I'm kind of commenting live and playing the game live and demonstrating what the game is, and then I give it a little bit of a qualitative analysis of is it good or not. A review, I go in depth. But this game's not ready for a review. This one's in beta right now, and it's going into early access later this year. So not ready for a review. Too complicated for a gameplay review. I'm just going to have to do it live. This one's just going to need to be kind of let's played for the next half an hour or so. I want to show this game off, though, because I'm really impressed by this game. I think there's a lot of really cool things here, and I'd like to show it off. So what is Timberborn? Timberborn is a beaver-based civilization simulation game, and it's probably the best beaver-based game that I've ever played. This is a good game. This is a good simulation game, and I think that they've done something really funny by making it beavers, but at the same time, I'm impressed with this game. So how does it work? Well, your main objective here is your average well-being. Right now I have three. If I would like to unlock the eager beaver, I have to get to eight. And if I want to get to the fancy beaver, I've got to turn it up to 11. And turning it up to 11, very difficult because if you see the population well-being currently, I have 11 in these three, but I have to get, I think, an average of 11 all the way across the board. That is going to be very difficult to do. So the idea here is to make the best civilization you can and unlock all of the different things. Let's go ahead and get started with that. And I'll kind of explain the interface here and all the elements of the game as I'm playing it. So I am going to turn it on one because I want to go slow. These first couple days are very critical. I can set the working hours of my beavers a little bit higher. And I think for the first couple days, I'm going to do that. So the first day, it's actually just going to run the 16. And then this little blue section will shrink itself up. And then I'll get 18 hours out of my beavers the next day. So what do we need to have right away? So here on the builder's hut, you can see that two beavers are allocated to this building right now as builders. They are going to be building things. Let's make them build a log pile, which is the very basic thing you need just to harvest wood. You can't harvest wood without a log pile. So those building beavers are now building the log pile. And then once they're done, I need to mark some trees for removal. So I'm going to say, just cut down the mature trees for now. And let's just cut down. Let's cut down all the mature trees out of this section here. Eventually, we're going to cut them all. But I want to let the little ones grow first. So those will start being cut as soon as the log pile is done. Looks like they're already on their way out there. Yes, they are out there to harvest the wood. So I got those guys doing that. And I've got the builders. They need to be starting to work on something else now. We are going to need some water. So let's go ahead and click on the watering place. We're going to set two of those up here. And those guys are going to go out and start building those. They're going to have to grab some of that wood. Oh, there is no wood yet. Once there's wood, they'll start to build these two things. And then after that, I need them to build housing. So when you tell them to build things, it is a FIFO system, which means first in, first out. So the first things I said build are these two watering things. And the next things I said to build are going to be these, let's say, four houses. Let's do four houses for now. Don't need to do more than that. And then after those four houses, I want a carrot field made. I'm going to leave a gap between these because I want a path there. So let's start building that path as well. I have given my beavers a lot to do already. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's just leave it right there. Oop, 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 oop. Not that. This way. Here we go. We'll go that far. That's good enough. Now, by hitting C and Z, I can rotate, and I can see exactly the other side. I can see exactly where the path is going. Okay. And I think I'm off to a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and crank up the speed. So we can see how fast these guys can get this done. Now, in order to facilitate faster building, I want more lumberjack beavers. So let's go labor. That's not the right one. Woodworking. There we go. Now, I can make more workers by building flags. Like right now, I have this builders building thing that I can have four builder 
beavers allocated to, but I also have this little flag right here, which is a lumberjack flag where there are two beavers working. I want to build another lumberjack's flag. Let's put it right here, angle it that way, and now we have one of those. Then I also want to have a gatherer's flag, and the gatherer's flag will allow me to gather berries. So I think those are going to take me a little while to build, though, because everything else is going to build. So I've made a little bit of a mistake there. We're just going to let it go. We'll just we'll just see where this goes for now. And we'll keep building. So one of the mechanics in this game is how you increase your population. And that is done through the adults and children here. As your adults, you're, they eventually die. The adults get older, they die. The children grow up and become adults. But the adults will pair up. So I have a couple houses here. You can see there's two adults and one child. For every two adults that pair up, they make children. And the children continue to get produced by these houses kind of houses households let's just say households so as those children grow up the children grow up they become adults and they pair off into families and they create more children and your population gets bigger and bigger but as your population grows you also need to be sustaining yourself with additional drinking spots and additional uh, sources of food and yeah your growth just kind of goes up and up and up and as you grow into a bigger and bigger civilization more of these buildings become unlocked and you get more and more advanced things that you can build and your beavers become to some extent a little more efficient here we go our path is well underway here this is going pretty well I'm not sure if I explained this yet, but you can see that here that some of these are green and some of them are gray. Now, the gray ones are so far away from my town that I can't reach them. One of the ways that I can get a little bit more range out of my building is to make a path out to them. Now, that will go so far. I don't think I can quite get these trees here. Even with a path, I don't think I can get all the way out here. Maybe I can. Oh, man. These guys are doing pretty good. Maybe I can get there even without a path. Prove me wrong, but that's fine. That's they're 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 doing their job. Let's go ahead and mark more of these trees. I want to say just the mature ones again. Now that we have some trees that grew up, we'll mark some more. Our our logs here are doing pretty good. We've got only 19 out of 180, but I've built everything I need to. So my beavers are a little happier than they were before but we're gonna go down to, to speed three because this is all happening very quickly and it's happening faster than i can explain it so i'm now up to level four let's see if i can keep that going up the highest i think i've got it up is maybe seven definitely six maybe seven so these two guys they're working in the field the carrots grow every four days and they'll provide us with a little bit of food but now that i also have a gatherer's flag and let's make sure that i do have somebody working that that means I can come down here and I can allocate them to... Let's just cut all the bushes down. Well, no, let's, let's just do the big ones. Let's do the mature ones. So here he comes out here to do it. Do the work. And I think we're going to need more carrots. Oh, I can't do that until those bushes are cleared out. I can do it over here. Should I do it over there, though? That's the question. Let's just put one right here. That's not going to hurt anybody. And then another one right there. All right, so now we got three different carrot fields. Carrot farms, carrot fields. And that will be growing us food very quickly, which is a very good thing. We're going to bring this up here. Bring it over to those stairs. Okay, so very important that you have lots of food growing. Very important that you have water going. Uh, I've had a couple different runs on this where I have not taken those things into consideration and then dead population. Like one time we just all, they all died of, of thirst because, well, that was like the first run and I didn't realize I needed that. By the time I had it built up, it was too late. I was already gone. And then I had one run where I wasn't doing a managed growth approach and my population surged and I just didn't have enough food for all my beavers and a good over half of my population, I think died from hunger because food ran out. It wasn't being distributed properly and the population died out. And I think that's really the, the strength of this particular game is that those mechanics for something like that to happen where half your population dies but not everybody and and it kind of teaches the player that lesson that's actually rather well implemented that's that's a pretty cool mechanic that 
you know, it, it teaches the, the player a lesson more than, you know, outright fails. It's a little rough in the beginning, trying to learn exactly how you allocate your beavers into the various different labor groups really needs a little bit more of a tutorial because this is not straightforward. This is not like any other game that I've played and to have nothing that tells you what, what this does. I mean, at least not directly, it's pretty rough. So I want that other field working. I'm going to go ahead and put one of my, uh, move that down to one. So by moving these down to one, the game automatically reassigns the beaver to any open position. So this beaver went to this field because I said, these ones are all full. The building only needs two right now. That farm has one field. That field has one. That field has one. That one's got one. So now I can actually increase those back to two. And that's kind of a wonky mechanic, but it works. So now as I get more adult beavers, they will fill in the roles of uh, working in these two fields, three fields. Now, I don't think, at least I haven't noticed, the crops don't grow faster or slower based on how many beavers are working them. I kind of feel like they should. They do harvest a little bit slower, but that doesn't, it's not much of a detriment. You're almost better off just allocating one for each field and then having your beavers do something else. So my building beavers right now, I think they're idle. Well, I see at least one of them is idle. So let's go ahead and build some new houses. How full are we? Full, full, couple room for kids, no room for adults. Let's go ahead and build the remaining six houses that I was kind of planning in that batch. And then let's build something else. Let's build something new. What else do we need? So what are the needs of our beavers? If we go here and go to our goals and look at our population well-being, you can see that they need a social life. They need fun. They need various degrees of nutrition. They need comfort. So they're getting comfort pretty well. Oh, look, I can go up to 12. That's pretty good. I need knowledge, spirituality, aesthetics, and then awe. So what can we do? In leisure, I have the campfire unlocked. So let's go ahead and build campfires. I'd like to build two of them. And then I want to put some path here. And you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to build a couple more houses because I think more houses make sense here. Plan for growth. I'll put two on the end there and then we'll build the path around it. There we go. Let's go ahead and rotate a little bit. We'll put this path. I want to go up here because I'm going to put another flag there at some point of some kind. So let's talk about performance for the game. You can see here as I'm kind of panning around, it is a little bit chunky. And if I slow this down to level one and look at the animation of the beavers, I'm not sure if their animation is just not super great or if it's actually the performance of the game. It looks like it's okay. Now, I'm not really gauging if that is a good or bad thing. I think that, you know, eh, this is a beta game, a beta of an early access game. They're working on this. I think that for where the game is right now, this is perfectly acceptable. Um, but the game does have some hiccups here and there. There is some work to be done. Let's go ahead and reduce the working hours now down to 16 again. Make our beavers a little bit less busy. And uh, crank this back up to three. And the music. So the music track in this game is, from what I've experienced, a single track. It's the track of this level, and that's what it is. Luckily, not luckily, thank goodness, the track is not too bad. It it, it matches the game. I think that it's fine. I, I Some variants, a little more, would be great. I really liked in SimCity, considering this is a simulation game, I'm going to compare it to that. In SimCity, it was nice how as you got bigger, you kind of leveled up and you went into different stages of your city and then the music changed. It would be cool to see that in this game, but I think for being a game that's beta, that's going into early access, having a single track, uh, being kind of a non-intrusive track is great. It works perfectly. It's it's kind of a chill track. It's kind of, it's kind of a chill game. Let's make sure that we're actually getting all these trees keep going after him. How are we doing here? 83 of 180. So we're still working. Our builders, what are we doing? 
Oh, they are working. They're building the campfire. Are there? Yeah, they're building the campfire, which is good. We got guys working the field. That's good. And how about our gatherer? He's not doing anything right now. Let's go ahead and put the gatherer to work. And actually, let's go ahead and do all of these, even the little ones, because I want to use that land. So we've got one here that we can't quite reach. We're not going to worry about that one for the moment. This is why I built two. I built two because I wanted to be able to have more beavers there at once. That will allow me to increase their well-being quicker. Let's see what the leisure it gives. Social life. So let's look at their social life. 12. So we're doing a good job there. Their comfort is pretty good. Now we need to work on kind of the fun aspects and such. So they're going to build this path and they're going to build these buildings over the next day or two. I want to start planning for the next phase. So let's talk about these meters up here. Our food is about to run out. It's getting a little bit low. Now this field is at 71%. I think we'll be fine because this will finish up at about the same time that the food runs up, which is good. That little sound was us leveling up to the next well-being level. So they're going to finish this field at the same time. The food's going to be running pretty low, but I think we'll be fine there. And then these fields, a little bit behind. Maybe they do. Maybe they do operate quicker with more beavers than them. I haven't quite noticed. How's this one going? We can, well, we can see here. So we'll we'll watch this. Let's Let's test this. We're going to test this. So we're waiting to see, that one's at 31, this one's at 90. When this one hits 100, is the other one at 41. That's, that's what we're going to gauge. So my builders are building. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a science facility. So science is really where you want to get. You want to get your groundwork done. You want to get your water built. You want to get your food going. You want to have good places for resources and kind of just have this baseline city going. Then you need to build a lab which allows you to start researching your science. By getting science power, you're able to allocate your science points and invest them into unlocking different things. Pretty much everything gets unlocked with science. You see 300 science points here, 400. Okay, so this has been cleared out. Now we can start building more things. Our buildings here, oh, this is done, right? Almost done. Yep, okay, so it is. As the beavers are only one, there are they go half the speed so these need to be twice as fast because i'm not going to be able to keep up with the demand for food unless i have enough beavers allocated to these things so lumberjacks you're going to lose one because these guys need to gain one where'd he go come on guys lumberjacks and lose one there Okay, we got two there, we got two there, and we got two there. Good. So now the fields are all being managed properly, and the builders, we have two builders, right? Yep. They're still doing their thing. Lumberjacks are okay because we already have 104 stored. Let's go ahead and cut some more trees. Cutting these down very slow. By cutting only the mature ones down, you end up allowing the young ones to grow, and I think they eventually do repopulate, but I'm just cutting them down slow where I only let the mature ones get cut. That way I maximize the amount of wood that I'm getting out, even though I'm planning on clear cutting this whole area, and I probably will be working on clear cutting this area. But I think it's about time now, since this is kind of wrapping up, the path is gonna build really quick. Oh, and we're already at level six, we're doing really well. I do want to build that inventor's hut now. Let's build it right here on the edge of the water. And that will be the next thing that gets built. Because that's going to be instrumental in growing the civilization to kind of the next level. See, getting to that next level of stuff. And that's kind of where the early access content actually ends. There's a lot of stuff that has to unlock with science. So you could be sitting here playing for... If you were, if you were at seven speed and knew exactly what you were doing it would probably take you three or four hours to get through every type of building because the science is just it takes a while to 
get enough science points out but there's a lot of other interim things too there's like planks that you need to build you need to be refining your wood into planks there's um specialized food that you can be building there's a lot of different little things that you can make before you have a fully matured civilization in this game but the cornerstone of everything for all the late stage of the game in its current form is that science building the what's it called the inventor's hut here and it takes logs. Everything takes logs. Now, I haven't run into that problem yet of uh, managing the resource of trees. And so far, I can't see that I would really need to. There's quite a few trees in here. Now, I would have to build a number of builder's huts to go around and, and harvest all these areas. But at some point, though, I'm probably going to be worried about having enough trees. And I'm not sure how you manage that. I mean, this area right here, I'm reserving for buildings and food. And, and this is the, the land that is allocated for me to build my civilization. But I'm going to have to allocate the rest of this land to growing other resources. And I'm not sure exactly what that means for, for wood. I haven't gotten to that point in the game yet. You can see the science facility, though, almost done. When it is done, it will take a single worker, which means that oh, it's already got a beaver allocated to it. That's great. And so we're going to start generating some science points here. It will use up some wood. He's doing his thing. So you can see the number here going up. And once this gets to 100%, it should generate a point. Let's just wait for it. Oh, he's off work. So another cool thing about these extra buildings here. This is the first one that's kind of these extra buildings where they get manned with a worker. Manned. Prom beavered. They get beavered with a worker. These ones get beavered once, and uh, you can turn them off if you want to. So if I click on this right now, which I'm not going to do because I want that science point, it will turn this building off and deallocate or unallocate that beaver. It'll allow him to go somewhere else. So the next thing I'm going to want to build is a potato field. Now, potatoes, when you first build them, do nothing. In fact, if you look at the description here, it grows raw, inedible potatoes. So they end up showing up as a material just like logs or planks eventually i'll be making planks as well now the potatoes can be used uh, to be refined in a grill you have like a special grilling beaver uh, once that beaver gets allocated to the grill building that i'll have to build and he'll turn those potatoes into a more refined food so this helps them get to that nutrition two, nutrition three level helps you build up even stronger beavers because that's what you need you need a good strong beaver Still doing their thing. All right. And now we have three science points. So you can see it is going to take a while to get there. Ooh, we got six, six points. So I get, oh, I get three, three points per. I guess I didn't read that before. How's my food going? My food seems to be going down over time, which is not a good thing. Let me use my gathering guy and we're going to run around and gather some food. See how far he can go. He can go a little way. Can we can we get any of these? No, far too far out of the way. Way, way, way too far. But if I increase my path a little bit with my with my builders, maybe I can get to even more of these. So my builders will eventually go out there. But the problem I'm gonna run into now is that I am probably I have buildings that lack workers. So this is a little bit of an issue right now where I need more workers to do things, but I'm kind of running out of workers because I need so many workers to make food. I need to find a better way to reduce the amount of workers I need for food. It'll help once I have a grill built. I could build another carrot field. Carrot fields really only get me so far. Okay, so where am I at with these? 93, 91. So these are going to pop at the same time. Let's see where my food goes from there. And that gathering guy, he's going to go out and get gather. I, I'm unlikely to die from starvation, but you might see some, some of my beavers here start to complain. I'm out of food, officially. Let's turn it up to seven. Let's see how fast this goes.
I'm tempted to increase the amount of hours that my beavers work. Okay, so we have some food coming in. But it'll probably go out just as fast as it comes in. These are about to go. And there goes my food. So, nobody even got hungry. That was great. My average well-being is a little bit low, probably because of hunger. Yeah, and my nutrition's down a point. Potatoes are going to take a little while. It just, it's just the thing. It takes six days. These ones take four days. Potato takes six days. I think it's time, though, now that we have the potatoes well underway. Let's go ahead and work on a grill. So here's the grill. It takes one worker. takes a bunch of logs. Do we have a place for it to fit? It does fit fairly well, right? Let's just put it right here. Makes the most sense there, I think. Oh, it probably would have been better right here. That's okay. So, I will have a grill pretty soon. What else should I be working on? Let's explore some of these other things. I haven't built everything, obviously. 100 science points to start building new builder's huts. We got a hauling post where assist workers within range and carrying goods. Greatly increasing their productivity. Ooh, that's nice. Housing just has the one house. We can build a water pump. It's for them to drink. Cool. You can see this one needs planks. There is a... In the woodworking area. Oh, there we go. Plants trees in the area around the building. So I can build one of these buildings. And that will create new trees for me to harvest. That's great. So this makes plants from log, planks from logs. It requires power to operate. That's a whole system in and of itself. Let's go ahead and build that, just for demonstration. Man, that seems like a bad place to put it. Let's put it over here. You know, because I'm going to need power, let's go ahead and go into power and explore that first. So here is a water wheel. This is where power is created. Let's see. First, let's, uh, I guess let's build that. What was it? What was I building? Not a grill. This. Planks. So I'm going to rotate that. And we're going to put it right. Let's put it up against that. And then let's go ahead and build that water wheel. Where's power? Where's power? There's power. Water wheel. Oh, come on, guy. There we go. Now, you can see, the link there is not yet established, so we're going to need to establish that wheel. We can go with a straight shaft there, and then what I'd like to do is probably do a, not a T-shaped intersection. That's the right one, right? Yes. So, with this one, I can branch left and right. So. Building all these things, we're going to have a plank refinery thing. We got a water wheel here, and this is going to provide power to that building, but then also allow us to adapt more of these if we want to and build more power based buildings in this region if we'd like. So there we go. So you get the gist of this game. This is a fun game. I played with this one and it's it's really right now in its current form, it's just a chill game. This is the type of thing you're kind of you're kind of exploring it, seeing what buildings you can build, but it's just like this chill game where you sit back and just build a beaver civilization. I really I'm really excited for this game. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool to see where this one goes, where it expands into. The biggest concern I have for this game is because it's about to go into early access. A lot of the games that I've played in early access have this nice skeleton all set up. You can see kind of where the beginning and the middle and, and even a little bit of where the end game is. You can see what they're building in and then it's their objective in early access to just kind of fill in the guts of the game. With this game, it really seems like the beginning and middle is there as far as the skeletal, skeletal system of it. It's got some meat on that, though. There's a lot of stuff to do in that beginning, but the end of the game doesn't even really seem to have a skeletal system. At least, I don't see what the end game would be in this game. So they'll they'll need to flesh that out a little bit more. And I, I think that this game actually is in a 
oddly unique position where um, it seems like it's a little bit more risky to to get into the early access of this game not knowing where's where's this going is this is this going into i mean will there be other beaver civilizations are are you going to end up making like nuclear power or expanding it on i, I really don't know what their plans are now I, I haven't snooped through their social media and their blog posts and seen everything they have out there so I, they may have communicated that already i've only looked through uh the documents for the game and kind of what's in the game more and and i haven't seen a lot of indication of what the long-term plans are for this game like where is it trying to go um hopefully it's it's in much the same vein that they are here but i would like a better objective than just make your beavers have happy and we're going to give you more beavers that that seems a little superficial good enough for an early access objective luckily though for this game they've done such a good job with what's here right now that just exploring what other buildings you can make and just seeing how big of a civilization you can make has been enough to drive at least this player to keep playing the game uh, much like uh, the the sim city game that was on the super nintendo that was the one i played that to death it really had no objective it was just make the biggest civilization you can and then hopefully you can make the biggest type the megalopolis or whatever uh, even that though is is kind of a better objective than than what we have here here keep your beavers happy that that's a perfectly fine objective but I, I want a growth goal. I want something else. It, I, if if they could do something better than just grow, I think that that would really help this game. But again, going back to what I've what I keep saying here, this game's good for what it is. It, it's very entertaining. Has kept my attention. Um, I want to keep playing this game. It's going to be a shame that I have to put this down because I have a large stack of games to review still. But I'll really look forward to coming back to this one once it's been updated a bit more and looking at it more in depth once it's well into early access. Very, very cool game. I think I'm going to wrap this one up here before you even get to see the plank building, the power thing. You've seen what this game is. Go follow this one on Steam. Keep an eye on this one. Even if you're not going to buy it, if you're mildly interested, keep an eye on this one because I promise you this one's going to do some pretty cool things. So even if you're not thinking that you're going to follow the early access, you might want to follow it just to know when it actually comes out because the full release is, I think, likely to be a really cool game. Make sure to like this video if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed and you find yourself here anyways, go take a look at my other videos. If you like those videos, then consider subscribing. Until next time, this has been Pixel.